Prince Harry's inability to be flexible. You have to hand it to him. Ron Axworth recently chastised uh, Prince Harry for his uh, inflexibility, which cost him uh, tens of millions of dollars. Daniel Anser, the royal commentator and specialist, has brought everything to light. In a recent news.com.au article, she discussed the parallels between the Sussexes and the Prince Andrew. Uh, according to Miss Anser, uh, my point is, Andrew and Harry, Spare 1 and Spare 2, got very similar deals. The Sussex is uh, right this uh, very minute. I could be enjoying the fat of the royal land, so to speak. Uh, they would not have to have they they, they, would, they would not have had to sign on with Netflix in September 2020 to make content that informs uh, but also gives hope and uh, which they promised would unlock action only to end up making lifestyle programming about horses and jam. In this, uh, in this uh, other timeline, uh, the Duke and Duchess uh, would not have had to sign on with a speaker's agency to um, theoretically earn money, inspiring middle management in uh, uh, Radisson ballrooms, uh, to have to sign on with Spotify, uh, to have to embarrassingly part ways with Spotify, or to have, have, or to, have to find uh, therein on way means to come up with the estimated 6.6 .6 million US dollars in living costs uh, they now face. Uh, you have to uh, give it to Harry and Meghan. They really can stick to their principles even when uh, said same principles cost them tens of millions of dollars.